It's hard sometimes to keep up with what, you know, what assignment is due when. Um, so the more that they can get into a routine of keeping their own schedule, the better. Yeah, I know a lot of parents and probably staff in high school are poorly pushed the planners. But it, when you leave high school and you don't have the, you have the same class every day, now you might have it just Tuesdays and Thursdays or just one day. And that's right. where we just had a conversation with a student. Hey, I, I, I've been nagged to use a planner my entire education and now I finally see why I should do why it. Why I should do it. Because it's not the same routine every day, so I maybe need to write this stuff down so I can remember every day what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're kind of running out of time. I don't know how much longer people want to stay here, but we, we have three um, programs kind of looking at. One is REACH from University of Iowa. Um, then there's GPS, which is our program, and the class program through Augsburg College. This is just a small representation of the wide variety of, of LD support programs out there, or special ed support programs out there. Um, so a lot of this information you can kind of read yourself, but Josh will kind of cover a little bit about yeah, what it is. Yeah, REACH, we've had a student from Groves that has gone down there. It's a lot of independent skills. It's a college experience. It's probably not um, super, super academic. Um, you know, you're not taking academic classes with the general um, the Iowa uh, school, but it's teaching a lot of vocational skills, literacy, um, leadership, self-advocacy, um, and independence. That's, that's really what that program is kind of designed to do. The next is kind of maybe a profile. Yeah. And this kind of just shows you what they're kind of looking at, so we'll just look at that. And here's an overview of their academics, what they do for career development, and, and what their community life is like. So, Is there financial aid for those, something like that REACH program? or That I don't know. Yes, but question. Yeah, I'm sure that there is. It same, works the same as you As you would for your FAFSA. We'll be there this weekend. Oh, really? You're going? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. The student who was in it really loved it. So. Yeah, yeah, very great. They're, they've only, this is their third? Yeah. It's a fairly... They have two-year and three-year programs now. It's, okay. And it's just, it's like and it's a fairly doubling new, every year. Yeah, it's a fairly new There's program. There's only two in the whole country. Yeah. And that's one of And they keep getting bigger. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. So we are GPS, the Groves Post-Secondary Program. Um, this is our third year um, of running. And we started really as a way to provide support services for students who were LD, ADHD, who you know would go off to school and end up falling off that cliff because they couldn't make it on their own. And um, so we looked at trying to uh, create a program to provide them that necessary support, that scaffolding they, scaffolding they needed, so they could be successful, whether that would be in college, um, whether it would be in a career or in their life kind of thing. So this just gives a little bit of information about us. And look, there's Josh. Um, we provide academic services. Um, we kind of are a quiet, um, focused location. So students, students in our program go to the college of their choice. Um, right now we have students at um, Hennepin Tech, at MCTC, at Normandale, University of Minnesota, um, a variety of at Hamlin uh, yeah, Century College right a variety of locations so All they go to that college um, we help connect them there to disability services make sure that they're trying to utilize the resources there as much as possible um, but then they go to their classes and then they come to our facility and we are the kind of it's a quiet structured environment where they can get extra help if they need it it might just be a place to study that they're not going to be sidelined by the um, X game or the Xbox, Xbox. <laughs> thing. Um, but that we can also provide some tutoring support if they need it. Um, and we help set them up with the assistive technology like Kurzweil or things like that if they need it. Um, we also have a career services component um, looking at trying to help students um, identify their interest, their career interests, and, and develop those skills, those work to readiness skills. We do have a um, that, that GPS oh, business. Yeah, go ahead. Um, the uh, furniture business so students can learn um, just the aspects of running a small business. That career component, because not every kid is going to be ready to step right out of high school and be able to jump right into the college. college, and we don't want that to be a default option for a lot of kids. So we're looking at developing a career component and, and broadening that. Um, more and, of what we do, yeah. And we're more in the process of that. 
and we're actually looking to kind of help uh, and talking with parents and what would be beneficial um, for um, a program um, specifically designed for learning disabilities and ADHD. Um, so we're looking at maybe creating a, um, an LD ADHD maybe parent support group to really kind of toss around ideas and, and things so we can develop the programming to go with that. So that's coming soon. And kind of the last component of our program we call life coaching and it's something we do in all aspects of our program but it's really meeting and talking with students and helping them learn to make better decisions, better choices, um, working on time management, um, task management, how to self-advocate, um, if it's in an academic setting, learning some of those um, study strategies, maybe some of those skills that aren't always explicitly taught in a high school setting, but you know, how do you take better notes? How do you study for a test? How do you write a paper other than just sitting down the night before it's due and trying to grind, it out. grind it out, something out? But how do you structure it so you have better success at it? Um, here's kind of our profile of what we kind of target, um, and you can read this as, as well. And um, and then last is the Augsburg Aug last program. Augsburg is, is a is a four year college located in Minneapolis. They have the class program, which is kind of that what I talked about that program within a program. They um, they track kids. They meet with them like once a week. They um, will get them connected to to the different places, to the writing lab, to the tutoring, to wherever they need. Um, if there's a kid that's that just needs a little probably dusting off. Um, and is ready for that four-year college experiences, they do a really good job locally in their program um, as a four-year option with dorms and having the full year, four-year college experience. Okay. They probably track a little more than most disability services would yes. um, because they have like weekly meetings to help kids organize, look at their schedule, you mm -hmm. know, plan out their week and that kind of stuff. So they, they do a little bit more tracking. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's it. That's it. Any, Any questions? Questions. I have a question uh, about navigating the whole requirement recommendation with regard to foreign language. A lot of colleges are saying, gee, we need, you know, that's about with regard to foreign language. Um, any experience, you know, or? With each college is going to be different with the requirement and disability and how much weight disability services can throw around okay. within the college. Um, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, um, where I went with the dyslexia program, I think they were able to kind of sneak us under the rug type of thing. But then they had... Because of this diagnosis, we're going to let that require Right. It. Yes. And I've actually seen that written into a couple of our students that we have. So yeah. Those, who have severe reading But, but then they also had a, a program where they took the semester longs and they'd make them year-long mm -hmm. classes to make sure that they got that Spanish course. They just made them longer through that project success. So if we're looking at retesting soon, and what I'm hearing from the pediatric neuropsychologist that we're working with is that there is no, there are no markers or tests that say this child, because of this score on this test, cannot, should not take. It's really kind of an opinion. It's recommendations. Right, from, okay. okay. And make sure you're testing, you, you get it, try to written get it written as explicit as you can. Yeah, in the one we did, we just did one through the school district this spring, and they were, it was literally a split decision. And okay. it's written in there. Is, it's it was a, a split, split decision. decision. <laughs> Half the group said, yeah, he should. Half the group said he shouldn't. And they said, right. well, let's give it a try. He wanted to try. If he right. falls off the cliff, well, then right. we'll then know, visit. Then, then we'll know that it's, yeah. Then it will be not a good idea. Right. Um, part of that. It, okay, so in terms of talking to these colleges, because what the high school has said, and we're at a private Catholic high school, they have, he's in German, they, they're working with us to get through German 1, they have something they call intermediate German, which is actually a repeat of German 1. And well, it looks different on the transcript. But it has a different name. And, and right. the high school is like, <laughs> we, we know the gig here, and yeah. so, yeah. absolutely. How, how honest do I need to be or want to be with these colleges when we're talking about this? Seriously. Is he he's still going to need a language depending on whatever program he goes into? Meaning college? Will yeah, be depending. But a lot of colleges will offer sign language right. Right. as an option. Right. 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 So, so that's, he takes that. that's fine. Right. In college, it's a matter of getting in. Right. I would get, right. I would. right. So I, he's going to still have to take another. Well, 
in lessing what he gets a BA or a yeah. He's going to have to do it again. Right. But hopefully it's, I'm hoping it's sign language right. or that it's right. another right. Yeah. Exactly. The, okay. the other thing I would throw out too is that for a lot of students kind of in this profile, mm -hmm. you know, a community college is a really great choice as a stepping stone to a four-year school. Mm -hmm. And community colleges can be um, easier to get into in that sense, mm -hmm. like they're not going to be so harsh on those requirements, and you can get a great test of and, and you're a really great taste of what 